everybody, it's Tamara. Hey guys, <laughs> I thought I was live and then it said live and I don't know if I'm live or not. I think I'm live. It's Tamara Bennett from Southern Adornments Decor and this is Friday Fab 5. So I'm glad that you're here. Say hello in the comments if you just arrived. And um, we're doing this a little different today. I'm not using StreamYard like I normally do. I am actually going live inside Creator Studio and Facebook. So Things may appear a little different than they would normally do. I'm hoping that it still looks okay. So you guys let me know. I'm going to try to watch your comments over on the side. So say hello. Let me know that you're here. It's not showing me any comments just yet. So let me see if I can pull them up. Uh, let's see. Where is Tamara? Where? Oh, where? It's like, where's Waldo? Where's Tamara live on Facebook? So, to, yep, there I am. Okay. Um, okay. So... This is actually day five of 30 days of Facebook Live. <laughs> There's your comments. Hey, Stephanie. Hey, Kelly. And so we are doing this for the next 25 continuous days. So if you haven't watched any of the videos we've done this week, we've actually gone live Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and now Friday. So this is day five. So what did we do this past week? Monday, I went live while I was cutting something on the Glowforge. Tuesday, I went live to paint what I cut on the Glowforge. Wednesday, I went live to show how to paint um, the monogram on that door hanger, and I gave some tips for that. And then Thursday, which was yesterday, I went live here in my craft room, ended up giving you guys kind of a mini tour of the craft room, and I was sharing some tips for how to like um, tweak your door hangers if you feel like they're missing something or, or whatnot, and so we shared some tips for that. Hey, Sarah. Hey, Pam. Hi, Carla. Hi, Laurie. There's so many of you guys. Thank you for popping in and saying hello. It makes me feel so much better when I can see comments. <laughs> when the comments weren't there, I was like, oh, what's wrong? What did I do? But now that I can see them, we're all good. Okay, so let's get started. My first item is a very expensive one, but totally worth it. It is a Peloton bike. How many of you have or have tried a Peloton? And if not, is that something you've been thinking about? Are you interested in? Um, so I was not going to get one of these. Um, I had seen them all over the internet. And my husband actually, I think it was last, when, when did we get it? I guess it was last fall. Have we had it that long? I don't know. He, um, he started talking about wanting one. He's always wanted a stationary bike somewhere in the house. And so we finally bit the bullet and we got him a peloton bike and i kind of like considered it like his birthday and father's day it all rolled into one um hey tammy she <laughs> you love the different times of the lives oh yeah and so if you want to be notified when i go live you can actually text me at 270-207-9091 and that will notify you next time Whoops, I just pinned Shonda's comment. That's not what I meant to do. The comments were flying by so fast. Um, you can text me at that number, and I will um, put you on our notification list so that when I go live, I can notify you. But anyways, I am loving the Peloton bike. I haven't been using it as much as I probably should, to be honest, but I did get on it last night um, after our live Q&A with Sarah Cummings inside Paint to Profit, and it was really nice how... Even though it was the end of the day and it was too dark to do any exercise outside, I could just hop on that bike and do an exercise. And so you can choose on there if you want to do like a 20-minute ride or a 30-minute ride. There's different ways to cons to like exercise on there. My kids actually love getting on it too because they love putting it on the, I forget what it's called, but it's something like landscape and it makes it look like you're riding outside like on a mountain trail or you're riding through the streets of San Francisco or something and you get to choose your location and you can pedal as hard or as light as you want. You get to adjust. There's a little knob on the top um, here in case you don't even know what it looks like. I did pull up a picture on my iPad for you. So this is what the bike looks like. It has a little screen. And so on that screen would be um, the display for like where you're riding so if you're riding in a mountain scene that's what it would appear um but that's more just riding for you know leisurely exercise if you want to like really pump and like get your blood flowing um you're going to want to take one of their guided classes and they have a whole bunch of different instructors so if one of them gets on your nerves which i guarantee you you'll find one that gets on your nerves 
just take a different class from a different instructor. They also um, try to like do themed rides. So the one I did last night was themed for 2000s music. They also have 90s rides or 80s rides or 70s rides. Um, they have hip hop rides and country rides. Like depending on your flavor of music, you get you can pick which one you want. And then some of them, um, <laughs> Teresa, good thing you brought that up. She said, this seat looks like it would hurt. I'm going to be completely honest with you, Teresa. The seat does hurt for the first three or four times you ride it. And I didn't believe people when they told me, but they said after the first three or four times, it won't hurt anymore. And I'm like, it's still terrible. And on like that fifth ride, it didn't hurt at all. And I was like, that's weird. Why did it not hurt this time? And I hadn't ridden in probably two months and I got on it last night and didn't hurt at all. So I don't know. It's weird. It's like, it's like your body just has to get used to it or you have to build up muscles in that area. I don't know. Um, Linda says, I have a Schwinn spin bike. For 30 years, I was a spin instructor. Awesome. Yeah, the Peloton's a lot of fun. It feels like a community when you're working out. And then if you're a member of Peloton, not only do you have access to the, the biking classes, but they also have more workout classes. So they have some for, you know, weightlifting or yoga or whatever. And you can actually turn those on on your smart TV or on your iPad and do those separate from the bike. So that's kind of cool. Um, any other questions about the Peloton? I will say one thing. If you have an exercise bike or if you don't, this is my second Fab Five item that I feel like is a must-have if you have a Peloton. <laughs> because last night my husband was laughing at me because when I got on it, I thought I am I'm like I was cold when I got on it. And I put my shoes on and I got on and I thought, I don't need the fan. I'm already cold. I'm not gonna need the fan. It was probably 10 minutes into it and I was sweating bullets and I'm like, whew, I need the fan. <laughs> And it wasn't that I was overexerting myself. It's just my body had warmed up and I needed a fan to cool me off. So this little fan I got on Amazon, you can charge it through this little bitty plug-in on the back. It's a USB charger. And when you turn it on, it's battery operated. And it can clip right onto the top of your screen on your Peloton. Now this on Amazon is actually, oh, and you can also adjust the speed. But um, this one on Amazon was actually advertised as like a good stroller fan, which I thought was brilliant. Like if you've got a baby in this hot weather, you may want to get one of these, clip it to the umbrella part of your stroller. And I really like how you can angle this this way or this way, and then you can also rotate it. So you've kind of got 360 degrees of direction that you can aim it. And it's rechargeable. So, you know, if you're going out to the zoo with the kid and you've got the kid in a... In a stroller strap this on turn it on and then you could charge it up at the end of the day um, i'm not sure how long the battery lasts i would imagine it's at least a few hours so you could always charge it up part way through the day if you had one of those little portable battery chargers andrea says i'm just joining i've been waiting for painters clubhouse to open does it open on the 23rd you bet you saw my sign back here so august 23rd is the day that painters clubhouse opens um, and I did put a link down in the um, description for those of you who've been wondering what the Painters Clubhouse is. You can click over there and learn more about it. In a nutshell, we teach you how to paint door hangers <laughs> and we help you improve your um, confidence. Okay, Alyssa says, is the bike price and exercise videos separate? So the bike is one price and then, um, oh goodness, it's been so long since we signed up for it. I'm forgetting how it works. So the bike is one price and then you can pay for a membership monthly and that is a separate price it's like $39 a month I think you have to have it in order to watch like the the live classes and stuff on there I don't know if you can watch you you might want to just read up on that I, I don't know if you can watch the old classes that the instructors have put on there I bet you don't have class I bet um I can't talk this morning I'd be willing to bet you don't have access to the instructor classes unless you pay for the monthly thing. But of course, you could still get in a good workout without it, but I think it's highly worth the uh, 30, $39 a month. And if you're not paying for a gym membership, you might as well consider that your gym membership. Um, Pamela says, I have one from Amazon and I use it on my golf cart. Oh, that's brilliant. Shauna has one for her stroller. What else do you guys use these for? I, I may need to go get another one and put it on another place because we're always hot. 
Pam, or uh, not Pam, Laura says, I'm so glad I joined Painters Clubhouse this time last year. I'd highly advise anyone who's thinking about it to do it. Thank you for that, Laura. All right, so the third item on my Fab Five list is this little thing. And I, th th I think these may have been around for a while. Does anybody know what this is? Does anybody know what? Oh, I almost showed you the label. Does anybody know what this is? So, Terry, the, the um, fall workshop starts August 16th. We'll have sign-ups start for it on the 2nd. This is actually a pet hair removal thing. It's called a Chom Chom. And it's such a weird name, but I love it. And I was watching a TikTok video, and this girl was comparing two different versions of pet hair removal things. And so this one, instead of doing long strokes back and forth to pick up the hair, you just do quick little motions like this. And I did it on our couches and stuff the other day. And when I got done, I opened the little thing on the back, and I was like, oh, I could not believe how much hair was in this little bitty thing right here. I was blown away by how in in like 60 seconds I had filled the little lint trap. Our little kitty must shed more than I thought she did. So if you have a cat or dogs in the house and you have if you have furniture, you need one of these. It's like $25, but it's very well made and I was so impressed with how much how much it picked up. Sarah says, I feel like you need to rename these lives to random things from Tamara. Um, yeah, but that's what it's always been. It's all, it's, it is Fab Five, but it's always been random. You never know. You never know. Um, hey, Christy, <laughs> Cambry, and Nolan, welcome. Jane says she needs that in her life. I'm going to have to do a story on it one day, like an Instagram story, like cleaning my couch so that you guys can see how it picks it up. But yeah, don't do long strokes. Do quick little strokes like this. <laughs> Marina says it picks up glitter too. Oh my goodness, Marina. I did not realize that. That is a great, great thing. I'll have to use that. Okay. What was my next item? I've got a sticky note here to remind me so I don't squirrel out too much. So the next item on my Fab Five, uh, will it work on dashboard of cars? I think it only works on soft surfaces. I don't know that it works on hard surfaces. For people who've had a Chom Chom for a while, you might be able to say. I don't know. But the fourth item on my Fab Five list is a new podcast I want you guys to go subscribe to. If you listen, blah, blah, blah. If you listen to podcasts at all, you need to go subscribe to a podcast called Climb with Coach Kaya. So I've talked about here, her on here before, and it's my good friend Kaya Twistleman. This is what it looks like climbing with Coach Kaya. She is a rancher's daughter who lost over 100 pounds on her own with no fad diet and no, mem no uh, gym membership. And she tells her story um, in the very first episode. And it's just, it's so relatable. Like, I, I rel even though I don't have 100 pounds to lose, there's probably 30 or 40 pounds that I just cannot keep off. I'll lose some of it, gain it back, lose some of it, gain it back. And she talks about that struggle. And she shares uh, in the second episode how to get started with losing uh, weight, but losing it in a way that you'll be able to keep it off. And so if you need a good podcast to listen to that's going to like encourage you to be healthy, to do better, to treat your body better, there, there's there's not a better one. Climbing with Coach Kaya. I listened to the first two episodes yesterday, and I'm like, ah, I'm already hooked. I want I want another episode. So she just released it this past week. Um, by the way, Alyssa, the links are up in the video description. So go grab them right up there. Mary says, show us how it works. I don't have any surface in here to show it on. I will show it on stories, though. Um, I'm on my laptop, too. If I was on my phone, I could pack my phone into the living room and show you guys. What's the name of the dog hair picker upper? Chom Chom. <laughs> Kenda, Kim, Kenda commented on it. Chom Chom. Yep. Is it all about exercise? What are we talking about? This this Fab Five? No, it's not all about exercise. <laughs> because we got to have balance. We've got the Peloton, which was first, and then we got dog hair removal, and then we had a podcast about weight loss and health. But then we're going to wrap up the Fab Five with a recipe for my favorite dessert ever, which is the Ding Dong Cake, which is totally not healthy. So this is not about exercise and health so much as it is about balance. 
<laughs> so a lot of you guys know that um, the ding dong cake is like my favorite thing to make when I go to like a family gathering. And a lot of you guys um, wanted the recipe the last time I made it. So I'm put the recipe in the description for you. If you don't know what a ding dong cake is, do you remember the little hostess or maybe it was little Debbie cakes that are chocolate cake and then they have um, white filling in the middle? I'm pulling up a picture for you. These things, right? You remember those? Well, it's like that, but it's in a cake form. And this is what it looks like. I'll, some of them look more like this with only one layer, but that's no fun. I do three layers. So you take two round cake pans, you split the, the, the cake in half so that you have four layers of cake, and then you make the filling and you just layer it between the cakes and then you cover the whole thing in milk chocolate icing. So I've provided the, the, the um, recipe for you guys and I'm planning on making one before the end of this 30 days of Facebook Live. So. If you follow along on this 30 days of Facebook Live, you'll get to see me um, making it. Now, I won't start out with before I bake the cake. I'll pull the cake out of the oven and then show how I like make the filling and assemble all of it so that you guys can kind of watch me step by step. I did this four years ago in my 30 day Facebook Live challenge when I did back in 2017. And it was a big hit. And you guys have all made, uh, so many of you guys have made this cake since then that you've sent me pictures of it you've talked about how it's become such a hit at your family get together so we're just going to keep sharing the ding dong cake love <laughs> yes it's totally a sinful cake pamela it is delicious and if you if you're the kind of person who's like i don't really like chocolate cake because it's too much like maybe it's too rich the white filling inside the cake balances things out so that it's not too rich um <laughs> it is heaven, Lisa. It is so good. Yeah, I'm I'm the kind of person who will share a podcast about weight loss and then the very next thing give you the best cake recipe ever. But I'm going to give you a warning. Do not make this cake if you're not having a get together with a lot of people who are going to come eat it. Otherwise, you will be stuck with a lot of cake to eat. I only make it when I know we're going to have a lot of people over and like 80% of it's going to get eaten, and then maybe I have enough for one slice for me and one slice for my husband left at the end of the day. <laughs> my mom's on here. She said her daddy's favorite. It is my dad's favorite, and every time I make one, even if my dad's not at the get-together, I try to, like, save him a slice and send it to him. Um, yes, Charlie loves it, too. Charlie always loves the ding-dong cake. Okay, before you guys go, I want to show you the new designs we've released in the shop. And since I'm not using StreamYard, I can't be fancy like I normally am and pop the pictures up on the screen. So this is how we're doing it. Old school. Look at this. We have all football designs today. This one is a helmet with a football on it. Of course, you could customize this for your school colors. And then all of these are half price between now and Sunday also. So if you want to go get the template between now and Sunday, you can get that one. This is a nice little... You know, you know, you would think footballs and flowers wouldn't go together, but I'm thinking this would be super cute with the words like football mom on it, or I don't know. It's just more of a girly version of football. Like I could totally see this on a girl's dorm room and you could paint the flowers like school colors. It'd be fun. Okay. Oh, that's just a blank sheet of paper. <laughs> then we have this one that says fall is for football and it's a wreath of footballs. You could totally do these in school colors also. And then we have this one, which is my personal favorite. Uh, this one is in the almost exact colors of our local high school team's uh, jersey. And so when I look at this, I instantly think of my brother because he used to play football in high school. And this is almost exactly what his jersey looked like. Powder puff football. Exactly, Sandy. I love that idea. And then last but not least is this one. Super cute. You could put different words in there if you wanted to. You could put like go wildcats or go cougars or what, go tigers. I don't know, whatever your team is. Um, but all of those templates are half price between now and Sunday. So go grab those. And you can also get the wooden blanks in our shop for those. Do I have any softball templates? So Janice, we have lots of baseball designs. And really, you could use any of those. Just paint them with a neon yellow instead of a white ball. It could be used for the same thing. Um, Lisa says, I need you to paint the first one on Tuesday. I've painted four of them so far for all different schools. Well, Lisa, I want to see your pictures. Text me your pictures. Uncle Corey needs the football with flowers. 
<laughs> I'm going to make sure he knows that you said that, Cat Mary. That's so funny. Okay, Laura's asking, if you joined the template club, you would have gotten these at the beginning of the month. Yes, glad you brought that up because I did make a little sample sheet for that as well. So if you loved all of those designs, they are normally $7 each. Right now they're half price. So if you're ending up buying all of them or even just, you know, four or five, you know, here and there, and you're, you're spending enough, you might as well spend 35 and get all of them. So for $35 with Template Club, you can get all 20 or 25 designs each month. So this month has 25. See, five times five, 25. But some months only have 20. It depends on how many Fridays are in a month. July was a five Friday month. So you guys got 25 for $35. So Template Club members got all of these school designs, they got all of these Christmas designs, all these fall ones, all the florals, and all the footballs for just $35, and they got them on July 1st. So they've already been painting these all month long. Debbie says Template Club's a really good deal. Laura says I'm the biggest cheerleader for the Template Club. Template Club is $35. Now, if you're a Painters Clubhouse member, there's a special coupon code on the website for you um, to save 20%. So be sure if you're a Clubhouse member to save 20%. Now, if you're not a Clubhouse member yet, but you're planning on joining on August 23rd, you can go ahead and sign up for Template Club now, and then you can apply that discount later once you join. So no worries about that. Um, all right, how big are the templates? So they are, they average, well, okay. So Anna, they actually come with four sizes in the file type. They come with a 20 inch, 12 inch, eight and six inch PDF. So you can print e any of those four sizes. If you want something in between those sizes, my suggestion would be to go into your printer settings when you get ready to print it on your computer and just adjust the percentage of the scale. So if it's set at 100%, it's gonna print at 20 inches on that one, on that one PDF. But if you want it to be a little smaller than that, maybe dial it back to 80% and it should print out more like 17 inches. So just play with those settings and see what you get. Um, is there anything else I was gonna share with you guys? I don't think so, not today. Um, but I will be back tomorrow to, to go live with you guys. I have no idea what I'm gonna do tomorrow. Um, one day during this 30 day Facebook Live, I thought about coming on here and just telling you guys my story about how I got started in this business and like how it's evolved over time. If you guys think that would be like a good live to do, I, I will be happy to come on here and just tell you my story. So we may do that another day. Uh, Terry says, I used the shape of the punt sign to make a wedding sign. Huh. So like the outline of it, I could see that because like the outline could totally be something else if you didn't paint this, you know, like a football design for sure. Or it could also be a really great reversible one. You could do something on the other side. All right, you guys have a fantastic weekend. I'll see you tomorrow. Robin wants to hear the story. Okay, great. Maybe we'll do that tomorrow. I don't know. Um, send me a text if you want to be notified when I go live, and I'll see you then. Oh, that's the other thing, Danny, that I was going to say. She said, do you get SVGs or just PDF? My brain squirreled out, and I didn't finish telling you. In the template files, when you download these, you get not only the PDF version, but you get a color version like this that you could print out. You get... Um, a black and white version and you get the SVG file that you will need to use in a laser cutting machine or a Glowforge or even like a Cricut if for some reason you wanted to cut it on the Cricut. Um, it also comes with DXF and EPS which I'm not sure which machines use those but just if you don't need those just ignore them. Um, but the SVG is in there as well so it comes with the laser cutting files and the PDFs. Okay everybody's saying they want to hear the story so come back tomorrow we'll have a story time. Bye you guys. Have a great day.